guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are going to be baking with Michael Bailing, who is one of my co-stars on All American. He plays Jordan Baker. He loves donuts, and that's why today, as you can probably tell from the title below, we are making pumpkin spice donuts. I'm very excited. I've never made this recipe before, and he has no idea what we're making today, so I think, considering it's donuts, he will be very happy. So, he's just texted me. He's here. Let's go get the donut man. Follow me! <laughs> oh, I need to put on shoes. Oh! oh. our special guest! <laughs> Already made it? No, no. Can I show that? Yes. Okay. Pull it out. Show the people. What are we making, Mike? This looks to be like muffins, right? Is that a joke? They're donut too. <gasps> so for those of you, for the two people in the world that don't know, Mike is the donut king. I love donuts. So today we're gonna make pumpkin spice donuts. I've never made them before, but I think it's gonna be a try. It's gonna be first time for me, first time for you, but it's gonna be. Yeah. Okay, so these are our, um, this is what we will be making our donuts in. It's a pumpkin cake donut, which you like cake donuts, right? So, so before we get started, we're going to do a little rundown of our ingredients for the beautiful people who might want to follow along. I don't know. Okay, actually, why don't you, why don't you talk? All right, ladies and gentlemen, today, first things up, we have some vanilla extract, as my guess. That this that's is. correct, yeah. Yes, yeah, vanilla extract. That's the that's the cheap stuff, that's the Market good stuff. Market pantry. It's a good stuff. <laughs> we also have some Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. We're going to shout out Trader Joe's. Ground yeah. cinnamon. Please sponsor me. Uh, yeah. Spice. Yes. You do love Trader Joe's. She spends a lot of time. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yes. I can't say it very quiet. And you have Pepper Creek Farms. Pumpkin Spice. I love that you're giving the, brown, the brands a shout out as well. Is that okay? That's totally All good. right. Then we have our Pro Reduced Milk Fat. Next up, we have two eggs. And then we have 100% pure pumpkin. Pure pumpkin puree. Pure pumpkin is the only kind of pumpkin we do in this I didn't see any puree, but you know. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Next up, you have your good old vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. You always need that. Now, this contraction, I'll let you say. Yes, yeah. so stuff. this is actually brown sugar, and the marshmallows are to keep it moist. The more you know. There you go, there's a little. You've already learned something. I have. My brown sugar always gets hard. Now and you know. Both. We just add some OG Trader Joe's baking powder. Yeah. Um, aluminum free and double acting, so. You need that. Kroger. I rise, I rise. Just salt is fine. Salt, thank yeah. you so much. Premium quality, unleashed all purpose flour. Oh and last, God. baking soda. Yay, hopefully we'll get some salon shows out of that. A lovely ingredient listing. We're going to be looking at the recipe on hashtag Microsoft Surface Pro. Dude, there you go. That was good. That was good. Yeah. So, Mike, today we're going to be baking these donuts. Okay. And also going to be asking you some questions. Uh oh. Are you excited or terrified? I'm a um, happy medium of both. Happy equivalent of both. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Remember that. Ah, the sick guy. Very there. important for our drawing ingredients. Uh, what is this called? Oh, the Jewish ago, not any. Oh, the, what is this called? Yeah. Uh, a sifter. I mean, oh. I think it's called a sifter. I think you're right. Yeah. Sifter. So, what you want to do is essentially sift all your dry ingredients through this. Okay. It just like gets rid of clumps and makes everything delicious and airy and lovely. Oh, great. Yeah. That's what you want. You don't want clumps. Most of the time. Unless you're making pancake batter, but that's in your video. Yeah, okay, we're doing one and three fourths a cup of flour. Okay. Well, I think you can handle oh, flour. Okay. I'm one and three fourths a cup. So while you do that, okay. uh -oh. are you ready for your first question? <laughs> we'll start you off really easy. Question number one: Did you play high school football? I did. I did. I get that question a lot too. Actually, I played for two years okay. in high school. Now, granted, let me tell you a story about high school. Uh -oh. My freshman year of high school, I was probably not even your height. Smaller than me? I was smaller than you my freshman year. So, trying to um, see over my offensive line, who were all probably six feet, six feet. My height now uh -huh. was almost impossible. Wait, in what position did you play? When I, you was were a I was a quarterback. You were the quarterback? So, do you not need height as a quarterback? Is mm -hmm. that not super important? You do. 
definitely. Yeah, you do it and I'll sift. And so basically I couldn't see what my mom was behind, so I didn't get to start a job, right? Uh -huh. So I was back at quarterback. There was one instance where I was uh, starting because our main quarterback was injured. <gasps> and then they were like, oh my god, he needs to be the starting quarterback. No. I couldn't see what my mom was behind. I'm playing a really tough team up in Indianapolis. And uh, I think Which, because you're from Indiana. Right? Indiana, Indiana. Yes, yes, yes. And so basically what happened was I did not complete more than two passes the whole game. And one of my passes that I threw actually landed on the track. Beside the field? Beside the field. Because because I couldn't see over my line, I would drop back and just throw. Oh, because they were also tall? They were also okay, tall. So yeah, and I'm so short and the defenders are so big. Mm -hmm. And I was so terrified. So that was my really the only time that I really played as a quarterback, I think. My freshman year. In my junior year, I played more Um, We're doing one teaspoon of baking powder. So one teaspoon of this. I always double check one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Yeah. Just make sure it's not a tablespoon there, tablespoon to teaspoon. Yeah, you don't want to. I mean, if you put too little, it's fine. You don't want to put too much. One teaspoon of Maybe. baking soda. So, okay, one teaspoon each. We got some clumpage. Maybe see some clumpage. And now for the fun part, the spices. Oh, wait, yeah, this one. Half a teaspoon. I'm gonna pull up question number two. All right. Um, are you on any other shows? No. Like, can the people watch out for you on anything? Oh, uh, I was on an episode of Grey's Anatomy in the 15th season. But when does Grey's Anatomy come out? Is it's that... already out. Oh, it's already out? Yeah, okay, it's, so... uh, it's on Netflix as well, so. There we go. Okay, next up we got our spices. Cinnamon and pumpkin. You're gonna do this too. Okay. One and one half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The sifter has done its job. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Mr. Sifter. See you next episode. Tacos or burritos, Mike? Burritos. Burritos? I think I think good. I and guess. what kind of a burrito as well? Chipotle. Chipotle? You have a knife? Oh yeah. Oh I like the precision. Uh, I know a few things. You have baked. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm gonna do. What about you? I mean tacos um, or burritos? It depends how hungry I am. I think if I'm really hungry, I want a burrito. Mm -hmm. If I just want a snack, then I'll do a couple of tacos. Although I was out yesterday and I think I ate a lot of tacos. Had like a catered taco situation. It's very dangerous. Mm. It wasn't even taco Tuesday, and you had 11. I don't need to be a body shaming. I'm not. The cinnamon is in. Is in, and now we need our pumpkin spice. We're doing one teaspoon of the pumpkin spice. Does it smell like autumn? Yeah, it smells like cool. Um, if you could play any character in All American, who would you pick? You know, I get the <laughs> I don't think I could play Layla. I don't think that. Um, no. You let Pick the guy version name of Layla, what would that be? Uh, I think a Lloyd or Larry. Oh, We're gonna do a little bit of a whiskey. We gotta whisk. Who's the big one? We gotta whisk out. this up. I think I'm gonna let you do it because I'm All really right. loving your commitment. Yes. And your, I feel like you know what you're doing. I know, I know a thing or two, though. Really. Yeah. Every character on our show has an, an interesting and very cool arc, I will say. Mm -hmm. I think if I had to choose a character, especially from season one, it would mm -hmm. be Asher. Oh, uh, really? Granted, I know Asher's a Caucasian character. <laughs> character. But, character. But the way that, you know, he came, he had this arc from being this an underdog, so to say, mm -hmm. and this character who came from kind of being hated in a way, to you yes. felt bad for him. Yes. And I think Cody yeah. did that really, really well, and I would like to, I think that would be cool if not really good, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm dropping. Beautiful, beautiful whiskey. Is that whisked him up? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Let's just show the people. This is what you've got a little bit of. And it smells nice. It smells nice. Okay, that's our dry. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna do some uh, some wet ingredients. This recipe doesn't need a mixer. We're gonna do this all by hand. It's all about the elbow grease. So it's gonna be like a body by Scott Morgan. Let's go. Our trainer. An elbow grease. Oh, that's right. Great as a great as a form of body by Scott now. You can't tell I by your to... biceps. He couldn't already tell by my see. Uh, I'm personal trainer. Uh, so you guys might, so you know what I look like you. You think, would you like? That's not quite had, about my like, personal preference, mm -hmm. but you know, if that's what. To each his own. If that's what you want to do, then let's do a little like fast food. We're going to start by opening this. I have a really old school can opener. Do you know who this is? This is our pumpkin. We're gonna open it with this. This is um, Russian style. Are you ready? This is like, I feel like what they did during World War II, like 1800s. That's so much more of a workout. I mean, yeah, that's 
That's how you hang the gear arms like this, mate. That's why you guys are stronger. Open up your pumpkin spike, pumpkin puree. Pumpkin puree cans. Half a cup of this. Half, half a cup? Really? Mm -hmm. um, and then while you do that, I'm going to put in our brown sugar. I'm going to put in three fourths a cup of brown sugar. Wait, wait, half a cup. That's a full cup. Michael! I, I said a full cup and you said yeah. This is why we talk. Do a little pour over. That yeah. would have been disastrous. You put that in, we'll put that in here. Both you stand up. It's like, Mike, you're so good at this. You love milk, so why don't you do milk? <laughs> One third a cup of milk. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Jordan? He's a very caring gentleman. Mm -hmm. He's kind of a gentleman. Um, I'd say he's a gentleman. He's a gentleman, especially this season, which is season, season two. He's kind of a... Uh, he's going through it. He's going through it, but are we all? But he still has a big heart, and I think that's yes. the thing that I like the most about him. Is like, although he's still going through the stuff, <laughs> the stuff. Keep a PG on my channel, please. Oh uh, no, don't worry, I know. Don't I try to get me flagged. I think it's the fact that he has a big heart and that he is willing to do a lot of things for his friends. And you uh, and Olivia both. Yeah, Olivia for sure. Bakers have big hearts. We do. Okay, brown sugar done. We need some pumpkin puree. Half. Okay, one cup of this. So See, now you can go crazy with the one cup, Mike. Like. Have you ever eaten pumpkin puree? I've never eaten it, but I'd like bake with it. Now let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So you want to try this? Just to spice it up? I mean, it's Okay, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be 100% pure pumpkin. Yeah. It's just like the inside Here. of pumpkin, right? Have you had this before? No, I've never tried it. Are you just curious? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like eating food. That's good. Dump it in. All right, we're going to taste test this. One, two, three, cheers. No. Oh. Oh. That was a bad choice. I just hate oh, it. Oh, I don't like that. Why did you make us do that? You're fucking in. Okay. All right, we have two eggs going in. Go in. Crack them in. Now let me ask you this. Do you, do you crack the baker or do you crack this one? No, I'm not going to. I can't do a fancy crack. Can you do a fancy one? I can 50% of the time do a fancy crack. Okay, yeah, go. We made a bit of a pickle. Okay. Well, you got the egg. There's actually not as much shell as I. There's only one. Piece. I see a piece of shell. See, guys, it all takes practice. So if you want to keep trying that, keep trying. It. Wow, Mike, you're trying to sabotage my recipe. I mean, you add a little protein to the egg. It's good. Should right? I try the same? Try it. I mean, why not? Well, you only you can only get better by trying. I have literally never done this before. Take it and then almost peel it open, but I just kind of crushed it. <laughs> so, I know. Is that a thing now? Did Sam ask this question? No, this was Kim mm -hmm. Jones H. I By like the way, I'm also going to put in the vanilla while you do it. I would say it's just due to comfortability, and it's also kind of a way to, like, if you have those abs, like, show them off a bit in a way. You He's know? saying, if you have abs like mine, why wouldn't you wear a crop top? No, I guess I, I only wore a crop top in the, the first season for one episode, only because the creator wanted me to. That's what they all say. My mm -hmm. request is the crop. <laughs> two is two reasons. It's one, like all right, if you're if you have a nice body, go ahead. And then two, it's it's also gets really hot in football suits. Mm -hmm. football pads, Especially in LA in the summer. Especially in LA and opening up that stomach with a little bit more airflow, hot overheating. Mm -hmm. I think we whisked it up. I think yeah. Let's uh do a little Taste show it. and tell. Uh we're absolutely not. Oh, there you go. There, yeah. yeah, you don't want to get sick. Yeah, do you mean cookie dough? Uh, no. No. I actually don't really like to eat as I bake. I like to just make it and then eat the final product. I'm not big on like eating as I go. You are the sweetest. If it's cookies, yeah. Since we're almost done, we're gonna actually spray our donut thing and then preheat our oven. A donut thing. Just a little, a little pan. Whenever I do this, I do it on the same time. I love how clean you are. Because I don't like. Oh, but you really go for it. Wow. Can we just take a look at the difference here in the, <laughs> in the grease? This is Mike's, okay? <laughs> this is mine. Uh. So this is your, um, 
I'm having a treat, but I still care about the health of my arteries, and this is just like bypass surgery okay. ASAP. Okay? Yeah, show the people, Mike. We got our dry. Swoop. And our wet. Swoopity swoop. Beautiful. We've already added our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. So I'm mixing it up. Mm -hmm. And um, the next question, Mike, is how was it growing up in the Columbus, Indiana? Mm -hmm. Tell the folks. Tell the internet folks. Columbus, Indiana. Well, it's like a, it's a town of 50,000 people. It's a small city. It moves slow. Like for me to go from my house to my high school, which was about seven miles, Took me 12 minutes. Wow. Seven miles, actually, in LA. Seven, seven miles anywhere in LA. Seven miles anywhere in LA. It would take me at least an hour. You know, it's something crazy. So that, that was the biggest difference. But right. it was simple. So let me ask you this Do you prefer a small town or a big city? Now? Big city. I do like LA. I do like. You love LA. You I, moved out here ASAP. I did. You can still act in Toronto. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different for you. Right. In Indiana, we don't have any studios or even half of us. Yes. Up um, everything. It's nice and smooth. It smells really good. This is a fun part, but I have also never done this before, so it'll be exciting. Are you ready? Yeah. I this is a block bag. Oh, like, yeah. So, is this where you put your hand in it and you scoop it up? And then, or is it going to put this up? Oh, I mean, I thought we would use the spatula, but you can go with your hand. I'll do it the barbaric way. <laughs> It's like picking up dog poo. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some more. Do you have enough in there? That's a good question, but I've already turned it, so. Mmm, well, delicious. That literally looks like baby. <laughs> I've used this kind of thing for icing, but I've never had like this much stuff inside. That's a massive hole. Okay. Just need to get this. Uh... Oh, it kind of, it, it's perfect. Kind of. I know a thing or two about it. <laughs> what can we expect from Jordan this season? You know, as you know, the bakers are kind of going through the ropes right now because mm -hmm. Billy and Grace had an affair. Laura has kicked Billy out of the house, and so now the twins are kind of just dealing with that. How's Jordan dealing with it? In a healthy, productive way? Totally. <laughs> no, you're going to see a little different side of Jordan that I don't think you've really ever seen before. It's kind of mean. You're doing way better than me at this. You're doing great, sweetie. Um, you're sweetie, you're doing amazing. At the same time, he's going through some stuff, so it makes yeah. sense as to why he's doing that. People deal with things differently. Correct. I think I'm gonna try your way next. I'm just, I've been making a mess. My bag's open. It's all over my hands. <laughs> uh, if I eat this, will I die? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Have taste. Ooh. It's good. That's good. That means I don't really good. As a viewer, you, you might be like, Jordan, you're an idiot. You'd be like, Jordan, what are you doing? Come on, get it together, man. What are you doing, man? Come on, dude. Just come on, get back. Come on, go in. It's a good sign. Uh, look, you only got two. I got four. Favorite donut? Blueberry cake. So this is right up my alley. Have you ever had a pumpkin spice donut before? I have never. You haven't? I'm excited, but that's also a lot of pressure. We kind of did it together, though, so it's bad. I could kind of blame myself and not you. Oh, that's true. I'll blame you as well. <laughs> we met at the audition process in like the very early stages, and it was me, you, and Sam. Fun fact: you know, Greg and I actually tested to be siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, I was auditioning originally for Olivia Baker, so we did test to be brother and sister. Mm-hmm. But I think you and Sam were my twins. But walk us through like yeah. that process for you. Testing like, for you. Yeah. So basically, I went into audition for Jordan on a Friday. Excuse me. It was a Wednesday. It was Valentine's Day. And uh, I went in there, auditioned, and Kamala liked it enough to call me back for um, Friday, which was the producer session. Now, was I nervous for the audition? Yes. Only because my best friend Eddie was like, after I told him about it, he was like, oh, this is, you're getting this. You're, this is yours. Like, Eddie's a psychic. Eddie's a psychic. And I was like, I don't know, dude, you know, like. So I'd been out in LA for a month. I got on 11 auditions, and I was wow. Telling him about it, he was like, "Oh, bro, this is yours. Like, don't even sweat it." So I was nervous about that because I was like, "Oh God, you know, I don't want to disappoint." Oh, I just want my best friend, you know, whatever. And then May, I think on Monday, I got a call that said we want to bring you in for the CD of the Warmless Chest. So that's the when date you that met me. Right, which I don't remember what the date was to be honest with you. I thought you were going to say you don't remember meeting me. Oh, I <laughs> 
There were a lot of Olivia's and only two Jordans. Yeah. It's just you and another Jordan. We didn't have any yeah, unnamed. Unnamed, unnamed. unnamed on this podcast. On this video. So yeah, basically after the Marvelous test, it was a CW test a week later, right? The four of us, which was even more scary. Yeah, down to the final four. It was down to the last step, basically, of choosing this character for network TV, which I was all learning at the time because I had no idea how it was. Your donuts look. We'll do a side by side, and well, let me decide. Let me clean them up first. I get the spatula. Um, so here, and we've got mine. Beautiful, beautiful. Ethan. She says. Um, and <laughs> look, it's a working That progress. one doesn't even have a hole in just it. Wait for us, because I'm just working on it now. We're just working. On it. Do you think yours are going to be better than mine? We'll see. We'll see. I bet they're all going to taste the same. No, I'm not even so sure about that. What do you mean, wow. No, no, I mean, if you're doing great, you're killing it. What's something that people assume about you that's false, Frank? I actually got this today. Somebody thought I was taller. They thought you were taller than you are? You're already, how tall are you? I'm already 6'2". But I met some guys today, and they were like, oh man, you look tall on TV. And I was like, oh, thanks. They're like, oh wow, excuse me? Any, any pet peeves? Pet peeves? I don't like when people lie. Or pet peeves. I'm, oh, here we go. If you're in the shower. In the shower? In the shower. Okay. And you use the shampoo, you put it in your hair, you put it in your hair, everything like that. And you don't close the lid to that bottle. You don't belong in the shower. Because otherwise, water gets in there, and then you mm -hmm. get to pour the shampoo in your hand and water It dilutes it. It's no good. Okay, show the people. My beer so, um, These are my donuts. These are Mike's. Uh, we're about to put them in the oven at 350 degrees and eat some donuts in 10 to 11 minutes. Okay, let's put them in, Mike. Top rack, bottom rack. Let's do top rack. Bye, donuts. Siri, set an alarm for 15 minutes. So there's a thing called the bounce back test, which pretty much means you press into your donut or cake or whatever. If it bounces back, it's ready. If it makes an indent, it's not ready, so. Oh, it bounced back. We'll let them cool, and we're gonna make some glaze. Make glaze. Ready, ready, Bam! Couldn't be Let's more glaze. Let's glaze. <laughs> Let's get glazed. Let's get glazed, oh. man. I'm trying to get so glazed tonight. Now, can these go on the counter, or will they burn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pumpkin hey. spice mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. And this is hey. the reason we'll bake it some donuts today. Hey. We're gonna do two tablespoons of butter, one third a cup of maple syrup, and one cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna put this on our heat. Like I like the fact that it's like Ooh, syrup review. Yeah, what do you like about it? Tell us. I like the fact that it's not too not thick. Quite, quite. Oh, we need our whisk. Take a look at this. Look at that knob. Slowly pour that in, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of whisking. Go for it, Mike. That's beautiful. Butter and syrup. This is like breakfast waffly pancakey goodness. When do you brunch? What's your brunch? What's your like an ideal brunch time? Eleven thirty. This me eleven thirty and one. What's yours? Um, I'd say like a like a noon is good. Bye. Bye. So while I do this, Mike, I want to ask you about five a.m. Okay. We want an origin story, we want all the deets. All right, bet. So 5AM is a company I created with three other guys back home, from back home. Mm -hmm. And we created this actually while I was in college. So before I came out here, we, we created the idea. And, and it wasn't until we went on a hiatus and I thought to myself, like maybe we should kind of put it up on a bigger production level. So we kind of created this company. And now they're our manufacturer, distributor, and everything. Now you can get 5am at www.designer5am.com. Can you just, do you want to try this? I really do. Stick a finger in this one. I love this here. Whoa. Ah, uh, whoa! You can really taste the sweetness. The light glaze on the donuts is going to be good. I don't think the donuts are super sweet. I think it's going to be awesome. Oof. I think now we're going to go back here. We're going to pull our donuts out of the pan. Our glaze is going to cool. And then we're going to do a little like, donut dip and decoration stage. <laughs> right? Mine came right out. Wow. But they honestly, um, they smell amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now we're gonna eat six each, right? Oh yeah, on camera. It's All gonna turn six. into a mukbang. 
It's like starts off baking and then it just ends. It's a mukbang baking special. Mukbang bake. No donut is complete without There's rainbow no. sprinkles from the dollar store. Oh, yes. We're gonna dip, glaze, and decorate. Okay, we got our donuts, we got our maple glaze, we got our Those rainbow things. sprinkles. Here we go. Dip, twist, oh. oh. Wow. That was. That's what a professional donut looks like. That was perfect. That's actually perfect. That really is. is like I'm sorry, story. excuse me? This is perfect. Um, Voodoo Donut 2? <laughs> we don't know her. If you could do, um, if you could write an episode of All American, what would, uh, what would that look like? To yeah. be honest with you, a lot of football. Really? Because what the people don't know, though, is when we shoot football games, you guys are shooting all night. Yes, so you'd are. be willing to do that. I think be, there'd be a lot of football. Mm -hmm. I think there has to be some heartbreak in there. We lose a big game. Mmm. Yeah, and set it up for us, Mike. Really make us feel it. Where maybe we are going into the semi state championship. Okay. So we're not at the state championship quite yet. There's a lot riding this game. Maybe it's our senior year. We're all trying to get a scholarship somewhere. Okay, because so stakes are high. Stakes are high, thank you. This is your future. This is our future, at least so we think. You know, especially at 17 and 18, right. we think that, that that's your future. I know I do. We lose the game, we're heartbroken, this thing would get worse from there. Like, let's say we're heartbroken. So this we is not out. the answer that I was expecting. All right, our donuts are decorated. This is the last one. I'm keeping some of mine plain. I, them. I can share with you. Can I take a bite out of mine? Or no? Yeah, no, this is the moment we're going to try. Are you going to go for a sprinkle one? Yeah. I'm going to go for a regular one. Okay, here we go. Taste test. No, they're good. Okay, we got it. They're yeah. so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good though. It's the really glaze good. like really cuts through it. Okay. Yeah, okay, full review, please. Let's like talk it through. Here's the thing. It's soft. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's very soft. It's a good cake texture. Very moist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the glaze does make the donut. I mean, I'll say the glaze, glaze makes it. It's sweet, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it needs it, the glaze. It needs, but it needs the glaze needs to take it over the, the pumpkin spice. It's not the glaze that needs the pumpkin spice. It's the pumpkin, pumpkin spice that needs the glaze. glaze. Thank you so much for joining me. Your Thank first you. guest. It's been so fun. This is amazing. I will come back every weekend if you make donuts. You should be so proud. These are stunning. You know what? I'm gonna let you take this off. What? I'm gonna <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, like, beautiful. comment, subscribe, smash that like button. I want your biggest, like, YouTube. Okay. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining us on this video. We made pumpkin spice donuts. They're amazing. They're fantastic. We have, we love them. We hope that you make them at home, that they turned out just as nice. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much. Again, you can find me on Instagram, at MichaelBeal5, snap, at MichaelBeal5, on Twitter, MichaelEvansBeal5. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Take it easy. Michael and Greta out.